poor Paul. I don't think Paul uh, did too well in the Viper's Nest. He uh, blew up from insanity. <laughs> Found a note from Edward. Huh. That's from my grandfather. Oh god, the screen just tilted. Oh, my sanity is low. The note reads, My dearest Alex, I am glad that you have followed my paper trail thus far. I knew I would depend on you. This will be the hardest part of your journey. Look for the 88 keys to continue your journey into the past. Your loving grandfather, Edward. I'm going to save it here. Whew! 88 keys? That's a lot of keys to look for, man. What the fuck? Nah. Don't play dumb. 88 keys, a piano. My sanity is fucking low, so shit could happen. Woo! <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Alright. 88 keys. I know exactly where I'm going. Exactly where I'm going. Exactly where I'm going. Oh, it's in the next room, not this room. It's in this room. Seeing the piano stir up distant recoll recollections of Paul Luther's story in Alex's mind. Oh, okay. The echoes of the nose notes within the cathedral also within her, her own consciousness. Her hands are drawn to the keys, almost of their own blood. Should, play, should Alex play the piano? Only if the music doesn't glitch. How cool is this? What a, what a what a what a full circle this is. That's awesome. Wait. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Badass. Floating random floating chapter pieces here. Chapter page is hidden inside the piano. Should Alex retrieve the chapter page? Yes, it's going to keep repeating. Son of a bitch. All right, the Forbidden City. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. Oh my god, this is so glitchy. Oh, there we go. That would get rid of the music. Good. Thank you. Who are you? I am your lord and conqueror. What manner of forsaken being are you, sir? See me in my true form. You are a gifted man. Take this one and use him as the foundation for the pillar. He is special and should be given a special place among the suffering. Interesting. Oh! Who is that? Darkness is coming. That was creepy. Well, we can just go right into it. The Forbidden City. Nothing else to do. Much has been written about the exploits of conquerors. In the context of history, one man's champion is another man's nemesis, hero or murderer. Much has been written, but what has not is far more interesting. The Tome of Eternal Darkness mentions a Venetian artist and architect of the Renaissance named Roberto Bianchi. Roaming abroad to find inspiration, he was captured by a warlord expanding his empire. He forced Roberto to use his architectural and engineering skills to construct a monument to his greatness. To complete his task, he must survey the site. quickly dog and maybe you'll live long enough to see the sacraments construction did you think we would trust you Bianchi even though you are graced with the generosity of our liege you are still his prisoner 
As I said, finish your work quickly, and maybe we'll drag you out of this hole. Roberto must survey the ruins of this ancient temple. The rooms he must survey can be found on the map. Only when these areas have been inspected can this construction begin. So, really, to beat this game, or to beat this level, you have to survey everything, and you're done. The foundation for the monument has been constructed, but it has suffered from some damage. The rest of this complex is unknown, and Roberto must discover if construction can continue. So they're constructing a huge, like, pillar-like place. For, for like a monument to the to the Lord or whatever. So we got a torch, so we might as well use that. That's all we got now. So this is probably my least favorite chapter, mostly because I don't really have any feeling for this guy, because he has no like, emotion. He's just some like kind of big architect. <laughs> and he's being thrown in here to survey the site for the Pillars Foundation. So uh, here we go, Roberto Bianchi, or Bianchi. So this time you actually have to use your map. The X's are the places you have to survey. And so there um, isn't too many right now, but uh, Oops. yeah, it's they're all on the bottom floor. So really, you have to go through the entire level to get to all the survey spots. But I just gotta make sure I know where I am. So hey, what's up? See, as you can see, a lot of these levels now actually have some places where like you can talk to people. But he's just zooming like a bitch. A frantic worker looking for answers to questions that can't be answered. He hopes Roberto is there to save them and longs to see his family and friends once he escapes. So they're being like forced down here to survey these people. So that's that's unfortunate for you guys. Why do I hear a demon? Ah! Also, I'm extremely freaking slow because I look like Jigglypuff. I'm just huge. Okay, nothing over here. Oh, oh, good thing you're wrapped in mummy wrapping so I can flame you. Can't finish you off though, really. So we'll uh, have to just take that sanity out, I guess. Oh, what happened here? One of Roberto's fellow slaves lies dead. His, his wounds seem to have attracted the attention of the beasts, for they have been gnawed open, spilling his innards onto the dusty floor. Oh, how quaint. But yeah, as I was saying, oh, crossbow bolts. Those are useless. But, as I was saying, like, it's not like, you know, I'm trying to do how to get to point A to point B, but I'm kind of, you're kind of playing the game with me. And a long time ago, a, a, a great Let's Player of the name of You Too Young for This, let's, uh, let's survey this site. The structure around here shows signs of stress. It is far from sound. Perhaps with some reinforcement, it might be able to suit the requirements of the monument. And then, there, you surveyed it. You too young for this said that a let's play kind of you kind of think of casual playing the game. Not it's a walkthrough. Not you got to be super perfect, and you have to get every single item. Ooh, a safe. Take that. Nice. Screw the torch. Big ass sword too. So I kind of like you. Just kind of hear my commentary, my 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 feelings of the game as I play through it. Even though it's not too much of like a going against out of the realm of the game itself. So this music's a little different for the temple music. It's it's a very um, royal sounding, a little bit tribal almost. It's kind of nice. It's different. It's not as definitely not as awesome as fucking Kareem's, but who can do that? No one can can be that cool. More switches. Oh god, Chaturgas. Yeah, you gotta fight a little bit before you get the tome. On some levels, you don't get the tome right away, because this guy is not really much of a... He's not... Look at it. He's got no magic. He's like, what is magic? I don't even. So he's a freaking... He's just an architect. He has no real... But he has a very important role, and we'll find it later. Ah, shit. Yeah, so I don't have anything to heal myself yet, so I don't want to, like... Fuck up too much here. Let's just... Beat the shit out of these things. Oh man, I'm tired. Oh, you generated his corpse! Stop that! There. Chop your head off so you can't see me. Jesus. Yeah, so it's not like they totally get rid of the finishing move. Like, there's no reason to finish if you have, like, the tome to recharge stuff. But what's good is that sometimes they don't give you the tome right away. Like, this one, I don't think... You, I mean, I could be wrong. I don't think you get the tome for a little bit, so... 
Really, I probably didn't have to fight those guys, but eh, I like to do it. Plus, I need to get some of that sanity back because I'm gonna start. I'm gonna get blasted with it soon. Could try to run this. Uh, uh, yeah, they all got me. So I guess downstairs is apparently really dangerous down there. That's kind of interesting. Kind of makes you think something sh something corrupt is going on already. Ah, uh, crossbow. Yay! Got the crossbow. It's kind of useless because it only has one bullet. But if we need it, we'll need it. The man babbles incoherently about worms devouring his countryman, and the Roberto will be next. Oh, that's just awesome. Can't wait for worms devouring my face. And this is the room where you can survey, so you gotta you gotta definitely look, because you have to look for the survey spot. I think it's the scaffolding over here. Yep. Dust and rock fall from the roof through the fault in the stone. It is difficult for Roberto to assess how sturdy the place is, but it needs a lot of reinforcement if it is to be built upon. So, so that's two reinforcements that we need. Two areas. To build this found this the pillar monument. Ah, there we go. Never mind, you get the tome a little earlier than I thought it was. Okay. Back to the Pillar of Souls, or another Pillar of Souls, the um, the uh, walkway of eternal darkness, and we got a new guy right here, Paul Luther. Oh man, it's almost sad. Like it's just a, like this is this is like the people that are that are sacrificing themselves to stop the eternal darkness. That's what it's that's what it's about. Another person claimed 